for a jumping cutter. Get out of there, man. Will Vicious Jeremy escape the cage? Oh, he just did! He escaped the cage, both feet touching the ground! And look at Escobar getting right back up to his feet! Too late, Pumpkin! Vicious Jeremy is still the FPW Universal Champion! Vicious Jeremy's single rest, singles competitor combination career is still intact! He is still going to be defending the Universal Championship, and in spite of his breakup, can you blame him? I mean, can you blame him? This is Jeremy has no tag team partner. He's got three belts. It's all on him now. What a hell of a battle it has been, ladies and gentlemen. But that was definitely in the favor of Vicious Jeremy. Congratulations, man. You deserve this victory in spite of your loss. Absolutely unfreaking believable. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, a big, big title match for the FPW World Heavyweight Championship, Robert English, Curse, Duke It Out in Last Man Standing Rules. Without further ado, Tony Chimmel, take it away. This match has had a lot of story for fans. First and foremost, Robert English defeated The Undertaker inside Hell in a Cell back at Devil's View Cave. Amazing. Amazing. inside Hell in the Cell. Curse manages to defeat the Undertaker, and the thing is, the contracts were written in their own blood. Talk about a controversial circumstance that happened two years ago at Blood, Sweat and Tears 2013, when Curse came back after an eight month, nearly a, a 10 month actually, hiatus comes back, wins the World Heavyweight Championship. In 2014, he was undefeated until the Phenom of the, under, uh, the, uh, the, Phenom of the WWE The Undertaker comes out and, uh, and defeats him. The Undertaker came back unexpectedly, defeating Curse after signing a contract in his own blood. Finally, a month ago, at Carnage, we had Curse and the Dead Man compete in an undisputed number one contenders match, and it happened to have been in the Hell in the Cell, and it was just, it was incredible. What an incredible match that was, and Curse came out on top. That means The Undertaker only had one victory since his, since his return, if you will. And he's lost the title, and he's lost his golden ticket. Curse now 
is definitely hungry, Curse is definitely angry, and Curse is definitely has to be prepared for this match. Because if he wins this match tonight, he gets back what he's lost four months ago. But if Curse loses, well, the undisputed FPW World Heavyweight Champion Robert English will have to set his sights on a new opponent in either Brandon Wolf or Twiggy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, that was announced earlier tonight. For those of you who have just tuned in or are checking out this clip on YouTube, Brandon Wolf, who's got two victories back to back over Chavo Guerrero and Black Ninja tonight. Twiggy's got two victories back to back in Captain Obvious and and curse the man right there in the outside the ring. Winner of that match gets a shot, gets the golden ticket. And to think, if Brandon Wolf picks up the victory, gets a third win, he already within a month or two will get a shot at the world heavyweight crown. And P.S. I'm not finished my sentence, okay? But P.S. We still have the Young Lion Battle Royale. That's happening tonight. Winger, G.I. John of the World Military Alliance, Shane Eaton McKay, the second half of the of that British invasion, Robert English being the the um, the Great. team captain, and we've got Alberto Sanchez of the Brotherhood. The most notorious, controversial faction on the No Mercy brand. That, my friend, is still coming up here at Cavalcade 2015. And look at Robert English with that choke slam. Oh my goodness. For the past couple of weeks, especially on Championship Wrestling. Both of these men have been competing in 30-minute Iron Man matches. Most of the time, they've all been one-sided. They even fought in last man standing matches. Also practically one-sided. But something happened and we had a rematch. And it was one of the most amazing matches I've seen between Curse and Robert English. As a result... One, oh yeah! Two... Three, four. Robert English has to fight um, Sergio Menendez, and Menendez actually scored the win. Curse defeated Black Ninja, and as a result, Curse was the second one to come out. And virtually, the individual who comes out second or last ends up winning the match. That's been a known statistic, statistic for the past 15 years here in Fantasy Pro Wrestling. It's been a known fact. And right now, Curse is getting his ass kicked. Literally getting his ass kicked by our FPW World Heavyweight Champion, Robert English. Super huge night for both of these men. And right now, Curse is getting his ass kicked. Look at this stuff, man. English doesn't take doesn't, doesn't take crap from anybody. Oh all that for a body slam. A simple basic body slam. Whoopee. And, oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, not to digress from the action, but it is now 1-1 in favor of the Habs in the Stanley, Cl in the Stanley Cup playoffs. 1-1, and it's about, at this point now, two minutes remaining until we go to overtime unless Ottawa picks up the victory. Or it could be Montreal. To be honest with you, it doesn't matter. As long as we have a Canadian team in our midst, all that matters. And they're back on the outside. Robert English, such a brawler. He is here to dominate 
and and beat up anybody that comes his way. I mean, you saw what happened.